Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, January 16th, 2018. I'm going to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here with video number 310 in our regular Tuesday, Thursday morning video series. Hope you had a great weekend. It was a long weekend for those people in the U.S. with the um, Martin Luther King holiday yesterday. So first trading day of the week in the U.S., uh, getting off to a very strong start. So with that, let's get into today's video. I always start off with a look at the Russell Index, and I like to step back and take a look at it on the bigger time frame using the five-year monthly chart. We were keeping an eye on this wedge through most of 2017, but as you can see in 18, we've had a breakout to the upside. Nice strong candle so far for the month of January. So let's tuck into this area and see how it looks on the smaller time frame. Going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly. You can see that this is our area of support down here and the black diagonal line that we were keeping an eye on for such a long time. Uh, last week's candle looked strong on the Russell, so we've got that continued strength with price up and over the blue 8-day EMA, which I use as my guide. When price is up and over that 8-day EMA, I'm interested in adding new names to my watch list. When it falls below, I'm just holding tight. So let's take a look at it on the smaller time frame. Let's go with the three month daily. Again, here's our black diagonal line, the blue eight day EMA price up and over that blue eight day EMA and still showing that strength. We're gonna get a strong start to the day. Um, in the news, worth noting, um, earnings season will be starting and is has started, I should say, with the banks reporting. Um, so the market will buy be digesting that news as well be aware that the um, government shutdown looms I think the deadline for that is Friday so there's probably going to be a lot of talk about that but with price currently up and over the eight day EMA on the daily chart we are adding a new name to our watch list this morning and the chart we're going to add to our watch list and feature today is Micron Technology ticker symbol MU trades on the Nasdaq exchange before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with Micron. They are in the semiconductor space. And you know what, Chart of the Day Cafe, I am all about the fundamentals underneath the charts I feature. I focus specifically on value and growth. And I've got to tell you, Micron has one of the highest value scores I've ever seen. So value off the charts. Second thing is growth and Micron Technology has a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 43%. A current PE of 4.42. Normally I like to feature a dividend payer. Micron does not pay a dividend, but between the scores and the charts, we want it on our watch list anyway. So with that, let's get into the chart. First thing I want you to notice, we're looking at the two-year weekly chart. Beautiful uptrend, it's in this beautiful uptrend and currently sort of bouncing around in an area of support that should the markets go higher, this may turn out to be consolidation uh, for the beginning of a move higher from here. So we will see, time will tell, but uh, with the strong futures we're seeing uh, this morning, I think Micron's one to keep an eye on here for sure. So I'm going to move it away from the two-year weekly chart to the nine-month daily chart, and what I see here is an area of support and a wedge formation ha happening. So I like to see this kind of a thing. So what I'd be looking for with Micron is a move out of this wedge into this area here. So it's all about, for me anyway, waiting for the three and eight EMA cross. So for those of you that are new to Chart of the Day Cafe, I use this blue line as my guide, which is the eight day EMA. I like to see price up and over that eight day EMA. What I use as a trigger is a three and eight cross, which I will show you in two secs. But I just wanted to show you, I like the consolidation here. I like that it's forming this pattern that would suggest, especially with those scores and a strong market environment, that it may want to break out to the upside here. 
and that this may turn out to be consolidation. So I'm going to move it away from the nine month to the three month. So we're really zooming in here, same orange line. There's my blue eight day EMA. What I will use as my trigger is a cross, a three and eight cross. So what I want to see is the three, which is the pink line, move up and over the blue and point higher. So I'd be looking for Micron in the uh, days ahead to move out of this little wedge to get that three and eight cross somewhere in this green circle. And uh, in that area, it will be interesting to me. Along with our new watch list pick, we also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. And for that, we're looking at XLK, which is the ETF for the technology sector. Two year weekly chart like Micron, beautiful, beautiful uptrend and still showing that strength on the weekly chart. Along with uh, the sector, we also like to take a look at seasonality. And for that, we go to equityclock.com. Love this site, mention it with just about every video. Um, and as you can see, we're looking at the seasonal chart for Micron Technology. It comes into seasonal favor at this time of year. No guarantee that happens again this year, but always good to know. Like to see that seasonality. Also, I like to head over to Finviz and see if I've got analyst support for my pick. And as you can see, we're looking at that section of Finviz. Lots of positive uh, analyst feedback and upgrades on Micron. There are a series of articles below here that I would encourage you to read if you're interested in Micron. I'm going to include a few of them here with today's video in my show notes. Um, this one from Investor Place, Micron Technology, stock is a strong buy on any dip, dated uh, January 11th, I should say, as well as um, some comments from the Consumer Electronics Show and the CEO of Micron saying we are in the sweet spot of tech trends this year at the Consumer Electronics Show, as well as, finally, uh, three best artificial intelligence stocks for 2017. This was dated January 12th. Well, AI is still a strong um, theme. So Micron is in that compelling trend that I think is super interesting and probably not going away for a while. So Micron technology in the middle of that trend. And so let's go back and summarize. I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that overall the Russell is in an uptrend with price currently up and over the eight-day EMA on the daily chart. We looked at the sector that Micron Technology is in with the ETF XLK, and we note that the sector is in a strong uptrend on the two-year chart and still showing that strength. We looked at uh, Micron Technology, and we note that it's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and at an area of possible price support and continuation should we have a break out of that wedge that we illustrated and a cross of the 3 and 8 EMA. We looked at uh, the fundamentals and Micron Technology has an excellent, excellent, excellent value score, an excellent growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 43%. This box is not checked because it does not pay a dividend. It does not have that 3 and 8 trigger that we look for yet, so it's not checked. We'll monitor that in the days ahead. It's got seasonality in its favor. It's got analyst support, a current PE of 4.42, and they have not announced earnings yet. Just wanted to give you this quick review on some charts that we've been featuring lately. This was last Thursday's pick. We put it forward green circle, and it broke out of our wedge as we were kind of thinking it might had a nice strong day um, and it's up and over our blue looking good. Also Natease, which was our first pick this year, um, put it forward on this green circle day waiting for that three and eight cross. Hasn't happened yet, but it's still in that area where I would anticipate in a strong market environment it will, especially with those strong scores. So monitoring this one and when we get that three and eight cross and move higher, I will put it in the notes and we've also uh, mentioned Johnson Controls, which was a late uh, December 2017 pick. We featured it here, Green Circle Day. Um, and we talked about it last week, and this one is doing well as well. Just wanted to provide that update. Thank you for watching today's video, and if you like receiving these, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button on my YouTube homepage. 
Mine's white because I'm already a subscriber. And be sure to check out our prior videos. As we mentioned earlier in today's video, uh, Chemours did very well on our the day we put it out. It's got a fresh 3 and 8 cross. Natiz, I think, is setting up pretty nicely for today or tomorrow. Um, as they make their 3 and 8 crosses up and down, what I'm going to try and do is put a little note in the discussion section. I'll be checking the charts between 3 and 4 p.m. every day and try to put notes in here uh, that might help you and give you the heads up on any chart that looks like it might be getting that 3 and 8 fresh cross. With that, I will leave you. Next video goes out on, on Thursday. Have a great next couple of days.